Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics and today I'm doing a very simple video about a remote turn on wire. We get a lot of questions asked about it. Sometimes there's a lot of confusion and people don't think that they need to use it. So I'm just going to kind of go over the basics of it. So, you, can, you know, for those that don't know how it works, they'll better hopefully understand it. So anyway, so I've got a couple of illustrations here for you on the back of this aftermarket radio. As you can see here, this is just plain Jane old just aftermarket radio. You've got a, a wire which is blue with a white stripe. Now the blue with the white stripe is always typically your remote wire, which is a 12 volt turn on to turn on an amplifier. Some radios only have a blue with a white wire. Uh, like this particular radio here, this Alpine, it actually has a separate blue wire, which is for your power antenna. Now I realize most vehicles nowadays don't have a power antenna, so you may or may not need to use that. But as you can see here, here's your aftermarket wire harness. Now this particular car, this harness for this vehicle here, has a factory amp turn on and a power antenna. Now the car may not necessarily have a power antenna, but it's obviously a good idea to either hook it up or check to see what equipment the vehicle has factory. So in this case, you're just going to wire up color for color here. You're going to go blue with white to blue with white. It's your simple just connection made for your for your amplifier turn on. Um, another thing too is it's pretty self-explanatory because right on the back of just about any of the wire harnesses you're going to get, you're going to see blue and that equals power antenna slash factory amplifier turn on, which it can be sometimes. But then you also have got blue with white and that's the factory amplifier turn on. So it's always good if those wires are there to hook them up to use them. We get a lot of calls where people call in and say, I've got everything hooked up, my radio turns on, but I have no sound. The majority of the times, well, after talking to the customer, find out what kind of vehicle they have, indeed it does have a factory amplifier, so it needs power to turn on. So very simple. Um, another thing that you would need to use your remote turn on wire for is going to be uh, if you have an aftermarket amplifier. Aftermarket amplifiers do require a remote trigger to turn on the amplifier. So as you can see right here, this amplifier is on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this radio off down below. Now the amplifier is off. We turn the radio on. Now the amplifier is on. So when we get calls there, people say, my amplifier doesn't turn on, and we find out that they didn't hook up the remote. When you have no remote and the radio is on, you have no power to your amplifier. So obviously your problem could be very uh, you know, a few other things, not necessarily just this, but this is a, a common question we get as well. So another thing people always ask is, what do, I, what do I do with this wire that came with my amp wiring kit? Sometimes this wire is silver, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's whatever. It doesn't really matter what color it is, it still does the same function when it's connected to the right thing that it's supposed to. So this wire will run from your amplifier on one end all the way up to your blue with white. So when you turn on your radio, it turns on your amplifier, just like we've illustrated here. We hook up our remote, our amplifier turns on, we disconnect our remote, because when we're turning off our radio, our amplifier turns off. So it's irrelevant to what the color is, you just have to make sure it's hooked up properly. And then lastly would be, what do I do if I have a stock radio um, and I'm hooking up an amplifier? You obviously, my stock radio doesn't have a blue with a white stripe wire on the back. So in that case, what you typically do on most vehicles, and there's many other ways you can hook it up, but the most common one is to get a wiring diagram on the vehicle. Um, there are certain radios that may have a factory 12 volt out amp turn on, especially if it already has a factory amplifier in there. And let's just say you're adding a sub. So you may be able to tie into that. However, most people are usually just gonna tie into their accessory or their ignition. So basically when you turn the key on, the amplifier turns off on when you turn the key off the amplifier turns off so very simple it's just basically a switch to turn things on or off so turn on your factory amplifier turn it off or an aftermarket um, same thing with your power antenna make your power antenna go up when you turn the radio on make your power antenna go down when you turn the radio off so uh, it all kind of works the same way just follow the instructions they're pretty clear there on most of the um, vehicle accessories that you would get um, obviously, for further information, obviously consult your professional. Um, but once again, this is Alan with Sonic Electronics, and thank you for watching.